hi friends welcome back to my channel thank you thank you thank you so much for tuning into another video and if you're new here my name is Pobby and thank you as well for clicking on this video I do hope that you will subscribe to my channel first and foremost so that you become a part of my growing family so as you can probably see by the title in today's video I'll be showing you how I created this makeup look so it's not really um a talk through but i do show you like my steps it's very very simple it's beginner friendly you will love it you will enjoy it so without wasting too much time let's get straight into the video and i do hope that you enjoy all right so skin prep is done if you see me looking here i'm just looking at my mirror it's very important to prep your skin make sure you do your um, your daytime skin care routine and then we're moving on to foundation I normally mix these two these two foundations they're by Maybelline mix caramel and golden caramel because I haven't really found the perfect shade for me so that's why I mix I normally just Use a beauty blender for this. I find that it gives me the coverage that I like. You know, I, I don't really like a lot of foundation on my face. So I find that when I use a beauty blender, that's exactly what I achieve. Like this light, lightweight, skin like finish that's what i'm into okay so i'm gonna conceal with also also maybelline but this is the fit me my shade number is 40 i like using 40 under my eyes So what I also love doing is that I mix this, um, that concealer with this one, the Candid by Revlon. My shade is also 40. This one is a bit more brighter. So if I want like a brighter, you know, highlight, I just add some, you know, just to brighten this one. Because the Maybelline number 40 is not that bright as you can tell very close to my skin tone okay and then I'm gonna go in with my what is this oh my black opal I think it's a foundation stick so I use beautiful bronze to almost um, contour so I'm gonna go in with my flat brush take some product With the short hair, I really have to make sure that, you know, I'm doing this well because I don't really have hair to hide what I did wrong. So the short hair has really, you know, forced me to make sure that I get it right. Then I go in on the nose with a bit of that same um, stick foundation just to 
almost like contoured lightly you know blend that out this is the baking powder that i use i just normally decant it into this because it's very difficult to use it from this thing so i'm just gonna dust some baking powder So moving on to the brows, I'll just be doing a very, very soft brow. Okay. So what I do is I just brush them up and just almost like add some, you know, hair-like strokes. Okay, so this pencil that I'm using, I know it might say Morphe, but I got it. <laughs> I got it from China Morph, so is it really Morphe? So, yeah, there you have it. <laughs> and then I'm going to use this, <laughs> this lash and brow gel mascara by Essence. It's very dirty inside because I use it a lot and it has turned brown just use this flat concealer brush this is the product that I've used to prime my eyelids it's not compulsory you can always use concealer I'm gonna set it a bit some powder I don't 100% know what look I'm doing but I do know it has to be pink and purple because it's for Valentine's Day Using this crown palette that I got from Muse. Is it Muse Beauty or Muse Makeup? Something like that online. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna use this shade. the softness I was going for it all makes sense later when I'm done it's blush time
whether I'm wearing lashes or not, I always put on mascara because when you do apply lashes, like the mascara helps your lashes to blend in beautifully with your falsies. So if you didn't know that already, you're welcome. need to apply my falsies and decide on what lip I'm wearing I almost 100% know that I'm probably gonna wear nude so just I'll see you in three two one this is the final look y'all mm, 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 mm. <laughs> i really hope you're enjoying it as much as i am oh my goodness i am so blown away by how cute i look let me know in the comments if you'll be recreating this or whatever your plans are for valentine's or galentine's with the girls um i'd really love to hear about that a very big thank you so much to you for tuning in i'll be back with another video um so yeah make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss out on that and if you are subscribed or oh, there's also like a bell next to subscribe you can hit that bell notification so that you are notified every time that i upload don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and a nice comment in the comment section I love you a lot and I'll see you in my